Good morning, Peace Ortigas! Welcome to a brand new day! Thank you once again for joining us tonight in a wonderful reflective prayer. This is our mealtime with God. This is your feeding of your heart with God's love. Pero the Lord said, just, just allow yourself to be used by God. And siya name bahala sa lahat. Are you ready to be blessed right now? Jesus said, you are the light, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. I feel that God really is watching over me. God is working in you. He never goes tired or me. Ang Panginoon ay laging pinagtatanggol tayo. The Word of God comforts us. Lord, please use me today in any way. Allow yourself to be so thankful. One of the reasons that we're surviving right now is because of the grace and mercy of God. God is calling us day in, day out. The Lord can change you. The Lord can help you. This world is a world, even though the world can be a dark place, the world is also a good place. God will send opportunities for you to be a great follower. What we can do now is we spread hope, we spread the light. Fill your heart with so much gratitude and joy. May the Lord empower and set you up to by His Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Happy, happy Monday. My name is Sister Elaine Ong, and I will be the servant who will be leading you in tonight's late night snack. Ayan. Okay, uh, so for our first timers, uh, just a brief background about uh, the late, late night snack. The late night snack. Uh, so late night snack is uh, basically a prayer derived from St. Ignatius de Loyola's daily examine prayer. So it's uh it's it's comparable to yung secular type of meditation. So may mga ano tayo, sequence of breaths ganyan and yung mga really noticing and observing ganyan. Uh pero syempre ang key difference is this is directed to the Lord. And it's it's uh it's a prayer, it's a meditative prayer. Uh, wherein we really uh, get to discern and introspect uh, God's direction in our lives. Um, it's a very powerful prayer technique uh, wherein uh, we also recall the events of the day and um, try to find or you know, observe where God was in our lives, in our day. Ayan. So, um, yun siya, basically. And, um, sana, this would be a good, uh, addition to your daily prayers. Especially, ayan, before you sleep. I hope it helps you sleep. Ayan. <laughs> so, to get the most out of this prayer experience, we have two simple reminders. Number one is uh, to kindly switch off all of your social media notifications. And secondly, you may post your comments after the evening prayer so as not to um, distract us during uh, the solemnity and serenity of our prayer. Ayan. So uh, the more in tune you are with the peace within you and the uh, and your surroundings, the more God will be able to reveal Himself to you. For those new to the practice, you may feel fidgety and um, uncomfortable at first, and that's okay. That's really normal. Because uh, our minds are hardwired to constantly think. Eh. So, uh, we have to consciously slow down. So, dapat ando yung intention to slow down your breathing and medyo um yung thinking nyo magfo-follow na lang kasi yung when when you breathe deeply and slowly that sends a signal to your brain to to slow down ayan so um yun uh your minds may get uh distracted and 
Ah, uh, paano ba? Yung train of thought nyo may wander off kung san-san. And again, that's okay. When that when that happens, just uh, take a few deep breaths and uh, gently get your focus back into prayer. Ayan. So, don't forget to like and share this video to your friends and loved ones so that, uh, syempre, we can, we can share this beautiful, beautiful prayer technique and practice to them. Ayan. So, without further ado, let's get to it! Before we begin our prayer tonight, let's take a few deep breaths and be mindful that we are in the holy presence of God. Deep inhale in and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Continue with this sequence of deep breaths. And on this next breath, gently close your eyes and feel the quiet surrounding you. Observe how the air fills in and out of your lungs. Feel it refreshing you with every breath. Feel the calmness and serenity inside you. Feel yourself resting in God's sweet embrace. Now that we've come to quiet and stillness, let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember that this is a conversation between you and God. I am merely a mediator, a guide for your prayer tonight. Take a deep breath and then ask God to be with you now. Now let's briefly review your day. Think about the things you did and the things you thought about today. Start with the morning and spend a few moments here. Where was God with me this morning? Did I keep him out or draw him in? Keep reviewing your day and try to recall where God was or where you saw him today. Were there people that God used to remind you of him? Did they bring good graces or pieces of wisdom? or even lessons to better you in the future. Reflect on it while keeping at your slow, gentle breaths. Feel yourself absorbing each thought and feeling with every sip and gush of air. Now, where 
is your heart tonight? Wherever it is, submit it and surrender it to the Lord. Ask for pardon and mercy for the things you could have done better. Think about those times when you feel like you failed him. Reflect and repent on these for a while. Surrender all of it to him. But know and believe that he will forgive and absolve you of those shortcomings. Is there anything else you want to lift up to the Lord? Any special requests or petitions that are coming to mind at this very moment? Lay it all in front of God and continue to breathe deeply. Now, it's time to ask assistance and guidance from God. For God to lead you back to the path He has paved for you. For God to direct you to your purpose. For God to be with you with every step that you take. For God to align your mind, heart, and spirit for every moment possible. Take a deep breath and just really feel this in your heart. Ask God to send His Holy Spirit to guide and protect you tonight. And ask God for the grace to be better tomorrow and the days that follow. We glorify and praise you, Lord. We adore you and thank you for the many ways that you have been present in our lives. Bless us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me in tonight's late night snack. I hope this is a good addition to your evening rituals and again a good addition to your daily prayers if you have any additional prayer requests uh, please feel free to comment uh, to comment them down below and uh, to cap the night let me lead you further into prayer for these additional prayer requests uh, so let's um be aware that we are in the presence of the Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearest Father, we glorify and praise your name. Thank you for the opportunity of bringing us here tonight. Thank you for opening our hearts to this prayer practice. I would like to... Uh, pray for the people behind their screens right now. I would like to pray for their dreams and aspirations, their wishes and their wishes and petitions, their unspoken needs and pains, their struggles and challenges, and whatever else they need, they may need guidance for. We know that we know that some of these wishes may not come true, that 
the things we pray for may not be answered, that painful things are still bound to happen in our lives. But we trust and believe that you know better than we will ever do. We know you have a grander plan for all of us. So dearest Father, guide us all in faith, in hope, and in love. All these we pray in Jesus' mighty and holy name. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sinned against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory, forever and ever. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you again, brothers and sisters, for joining me tonight. And uh, please, abangan nyo yung daily examens natin. So we have break feast in the morning, that's at 7.15, 7.30 a.m., and again, yung late night snack natin. So, pareho yun, examine. Yung, yung break, break feast, that's just for the morning to get you started in your day. <laughs> so, yun lang po. And um, have a great week, you guys. Good night. Thank you and God bless. Through the years, women have been discriminated, violated, and abuse. We stand on common ground to fight for the lives of women who have been victims of these injustices and to serve them in the best way we can, through community, through friendship, through family. Ang impact po at ang tulong na mga naibigay natin po sa kanila ay unang-una, wala na sila doon sa kung saan ay inabuso sila at napunta na sa atin na parang ang turing din po ay mga ay pamilya. Yung, ka, yung mga kasamahan nila mga bata ay parang mga kapatid nila. Kaya po tayo merong mga staff na tinatawag ay house mother. Sila po ang tumata yung mga nanay sa kanila. Pag nalalaman mo kasi yung story ng bawat kliyente namin ay maantig talaga yung puso mo. Siguro ito na lang yung nagdadrive for me to push through with my mission. Yung mga kliyente kasi namin, hindi basta-basta yung pinagdaan. Kasi madalas sasabihin, eh, nagpabuntis naman sila. Eh, pero kung malalaman nyo yung history na at, at the age of six, being raped by the father, being raped by the sibling, di ba? Tapos pagdating sa grace, yung naputol ba yung nangyayari sa kanyang hindi maganda? We live by divine providence. Yung mga donations, mga tulong ng mga tao sa fees, sa lahat ng mga donors na talagang tuloy-tuloy na nagbibigay noon at ngayon, dun kami nabubuhay. Wala ho tayo sa Jeremiah na foreign funding sa ngayon. Isang malaking dagok po ang pagdating ng pandemya sa atin. Ano. It affected yung mga dumating na donations sa atin. For the longest time, nagre-renta si Jeremiah. Palipat-lipat po tayo ng bahay dahil parami ng parami yung mga bata natin. Kanya lang po, hindi na po kinaya yung rental. Lumipat na po kami sa Anawim Compound. Bali po, uh, pinatira po kami ng libre doon. Doon sa shelter ng mga elderly natin na kina Brother Bo Sanchez. Pero talaga po ang pangarap po natin ay magkaroon ng sariling bahay ho sana para maparami na ang ating matutulungan. Napakalaking bagay para sa amin kasi hindi mo nakakatulong ka sa mga ganitong pamilya. Dun sa mga patuloy na tumutulong sa amin at hindi kami nakakalimutan. Ito talagang andito sila para hindi uh, magbigay ng kanilang blessing kundi magbigay din, maglaan din ng panahon para sa aming mga babies at sa aming mga mothers. Mula po sa kaibutura ng aking puso. Maraming salamat. Thank you for the love. To all our mission partners, mga potential kit na donors, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo at uh, sana po tuloy-tuloy po tayo. Tuloy-tuloy lang po tayo sa pagtulong sa Jeremiah at uh, sa pag-share ng ating blessings po. Maraming salamat and may God bless you always. Jewels Conference vows to support our women foundations through and through.
Join Jules Conference 2021 Common Ground.